Hey y'all, it's Blake. Welcome to another video. Today I wanted to talk about my hair. You know, life in my hair. How's life in my hair been? What's my hair been up to? Today I'm doing a perm red set. So at one point, these used to be my go-to style. They're my favorite hairstyle and I had gotten really good at them. When I got back, the first thing I wanted to do was do the do a perm rod set because I hadn't been able to do one. I didn't bring any rollers with me. It would have been like too hot humid anyway, even though it's hotter here. But it made me think when was the last time that I had done a perm rod set and it, I looked back and it had been just past a year. And I was like, dang, what happened? Like, how did that happen? That's like my favorite hairstyle. How did it go? How did I go so long without doing one? and it was just like everything that has been happening life has just been happening and the time just never came again because like last summer i was traveling so i had like protective styles and then last fall was wedding prep and stuff like that so i was doing trial runs for my hair and then ever since i'd been in guam for the last six months i also resorted to protective styling because that was just a lot easier the humidity levels would just make my hair frizz up anyway so it turned out to just be like a year full of a lot of different stuff that I never called for a perm rod set so I thought that was pretty interesting So the first thing that I thought of when I got back was I can finally like do all the hairstyles that I love because I love stretched hairstyles and that was just completely out of the question over the last um, nearly year. I couldn't decide what I wanted to do for my first hairstyle back, um, but I thought a perm rod set was appropriate. And I went with the purple rods because those were always my favorite. But after doing this, I was like, I think I can upgrade to a size and that be like the perfect size because the purple ones like my hair I was having to really squeeze my hair on there and I think my hair is a little bit longer now so I could do the orange a little bit better but it still turned out great I just I don't have a lot of long purple ones so I was kind of struggling a little bit when I got to the front so I think moving up a size would be nice I did feel like a little bit rusty in doing my hair like this for some reason I was like I've been doing my hair but I just felt completely like rusty um, doing it because it had been so long. I also wanted to talk about what I have been thinking about in terms of like how I'm going to do my hair going forward because I don't like to do a lot to it anymore. I do want to grow it out and I want to just see how long I can go before cutting it and just how long it can get. So I don't want to do too much to it where I have to worry about breakage or over manipulation. And then I also just don't like spending a lot of time on my hair i guess it's not that i want i don't want to spend a lot of time on it but I don't, i'm not interested in trying new things and then they not turn out good i <laughs> i just want to have my like top hairstyles that work for me and i just do in rotation and i know they're gonna come out good so perm rod sets is one of them and since i've gotten back i have been experimenting with the hairstyles that i think i would do like in rotation and a perm rod set is one of them straight hair is another and then wand curls is the third one so this was my first trial of the perm rod sets. it had been a while so i'm like oh my gosh i'm so rusty but you know after a couple times I'll, I'll have it back i already remember after i did this i was like oh yeah i need to do this i need to do this i need to do that like for instance for some reason i didn't want to twist my roots like i always do i know i've said that so many times in all of my other videos and i didn't want to twist twist them and i ended up doing this weird thing and twirling them so tight it kind of messed up the root 
the hairstyle a little bit I didn't want to keep it in too long because I was afraid my hair was going to really tangle because it, the roots were so twisted in itself so stuff like that I was like why didn't I just listen to my own advice but those are the three hairstyles that I'm interested in rotating so I've done the perm set like I said uh, since this video I've done the straight so the next thing I'll do is the wand curls and I think that might be the sweet spot actually is the wand curls the straight hair mind you it's summertime today is the first day of the summer and it is so hot I can't tell if it's just like gen genuinely hotter or my body is not used to this heat anymore which is so crazy because I used to love the heat and now I'm like it's unbearable <laughs> yeah I also considered heat training but I would still need those hair like different hairstyles to fall back on during the summertime because it's too hot I've already sweated out the silk press that I did or it's not even a silk press it was just a flat iron that I did so I will need other hairstyles anyway but I have come to the conclusion that I will always blow dry my hair no matter what I am at the very least a blow dry or like a what do they call it a stretch natural maybe I don't know there's no need to put like labels on it but I am gonna blow dry my hair every single time that I do it now I was trying to do that do a, a like a two-week routine so every two weeks I would do my hair but I don't know if that will work in the summertime just because of how much how hot it is and how much I'll sweat just by standing outside so my hairstyles just haven't been lasting as long and I think that kind of has something to do with it so I, maybe for the summer I'll be on more of a weekly schedule and then they might last longer in the winter time like straight hair might will probably last longer in the winter so I could do the two weeks but It'll definitely be a one to two week basis and I'm just gonna always blow it out and then style my hair that way. It's funny because that's how I started anyway and I didn't even realize it, but in the beginning of growing out my hair or becoming natural, and you can watch these videos um, a couple years back on my channel, I stretched my hair because I just wanted it to be like a little bit longer I want I didn't want it to be so shrunken and it turns out I just love how the style looks now on stretched hair it's not even about length it's just I like how the style the, it just looks fluffier I like that fluffier frizzier look than super defined and that's just my preference so blow drying does that for me it also will help with t tangling fairy knots and stuff like that I feel like I have a, a huge problem with that. Maybe more than, I don't know. I don't know if it's more than the average person or not, but my hair tangles so much and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Leaving my hair for one, for like over a week has proven to just be like a bad idea. It just makes everything so much harder. So all in all, going forward and what y'all will probably be seeing in the future is I'll be doing my hair every week, if not every two weeks, depending on the style. I'll blow dry it every time and I'll probably be doing perm rods, flat irons, wand curls. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and this small hair chat. Let me know what your hair routine is looking like lately for the summertime, if there's anything specifically that you do for the summer or just in general, what's it looking like and yeah we can chat about that in the comments so i'll see y'all in the next one bye